This is Manny from the Four Eyes Academia podcast, and this is my top four One Piece manga chapters of 2020. These are manga chapters that were officially released in the year of 2020, so from chapter 967 to chapter 999. Before I begin, if you are watching this on Twitter, please give us a follow if you haven't done so already, and if you come across us on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and give this a like. I won't go into too much detail for each chapter as we do have a weekly app on YouTube doing this very thing. Go and check that out. So to start off, my top four. Number four is chapter 999, the last chapter of the year, the sake I brewed to drink with you. During this chapter, we had Yamato's flashback where she fought Ace, then they both bonded over their relationship with their fathers. We later got another flashback about Ace, but this time from Marco's perspective, when Ace wanted to go to Wino to attack Kaido. But the highlight of this chapter is without a doubt the reveal of Kaido's devil fruit being the fish fish fruit given to him by Big Mom. This revelation destroyed many fan theories while creating some and confirming one. A reveal that set the whole community on fire and left them off the seat. I have a whole theory episode on Kaido's devil fruit on the back of this chapter and I will link it at the end. Number 3 is chapter 986 titled My Name. This chapter starts off with the defeat of Kajuro the traitor but the rest of the scabbards. They then line up in tears as they had to fight someone they recognised as a friend for many decades. We then later see Kaido ready to kill Momo due to him being the son of Odin. Although he was scared for his life, he bravely shouts that he is indeed Momo no Sake Kazuki and declares that he will become Momo no Shogun. That's not even the best part. We end the chapter with the remaining scabbards combining and attacking Kaido simultaneously carrying Odin's will as they did. Number 2 is chapter 972, I am Odin, I was born to boil. The first part is all about Odin's death, carrying his subordinates while he stands in a boiling pot, he eventually helps them escape while he remains away in his death. During their escape we get a montage of the fondest memories of Odin while racing back to protect his family. Odin dies by getting shot by Kaido and sinking into the boiling pot but still he remains grinning. His bravery became an inspiration for many. We get a few moments with Toki, his wife, then we get the words he left her, that in 20 years time there's going to be a war big enough to separate the sea, and it's going to be a new generation of pirates and they will be the ones that will take down Kaido. Now before I reveal my top chapter of the year, here are some honourable mentions. Chapter 974, Onward to Onigashima, where Kanjuro is revealed as the traitor and we get Luffy, Kid and Law link up which reminded me of Sabado. Chapter 992, Remnants, where we have the Scabbards vs Kaido and them imitating the Odin sword style while attacking Kaido. Chapter 996, Island of the Strongest, where Law finds a Poneglyphs and Sanji getting distracted created a dozens of wrong fan theories. All wonderful chapters in their own right, but they can only be one number one. Number 1. Chapter 967. Roger's Adventure. The beauty of this chapter is that Oda takes us back to the many islands we have travelled to in the story of One Piece with Luffy and the Straw Hats but in the perspective of Odin, Roger and the Roger Pirates. We get to revisit Water 7. We get to see Tom and a younger Frankie. We end up in Fishman Island where we find an unmarried Neptune and a 3 year old Shirley. Then we end up in Zoe where an eager Pedro is present. We also get a throwback of Shanks vs Buggy arguing in a way which is similar to chapter 19. We get to see Roger's pirates sing along to Bing Sake. We get to see Roger read through more pornoglyphs, more about his adventure and finally get to the final island in the new world. The one shot of Goldie Roger laughing is a panel that will remain printed in the mind of many One Piece fans for many years to come. That was my top 4 One Piece chapters of the year. Please let me know if you agree, disagree and what you would change. You can do this in the comments, at in 4 Eyes Academia on Twitter or at in me, Too Many Men on Twitter as well. Take care.